Um, I'm Caroline Magania, and I did my presentation on um, fashion during the Cold War. So just to give you a little bit of background on what the Cold War was, um, the Cold War is from 1950 to the 1970s, and it developed after World War II between the United States and the Soviet Union and their respective allies. So the Cold War was, engaged, was waged on political, economic, and propaganda fronts and resulted in anti-communist suspicions and international incidents that led the two superpowers to the brink of a nuclear disaster. These two countries weren't only in competition with each other through politics, but because of this, fashion also became competitive. Um, during the Cold War, fashion designers took advantage of the materials produced as petrochemical products for the military in the space race. Uh, how did fashion change in result to the Cold War? So during the Cold War, fashion designers took advantage of materials, um, but they also, during that period, fashion and politics had strong interdependent relations, no matter what side you were on. Um, so the exhibition tries for the first time in the Baltic region to make a statement about the role clothing behind the wall and draw par parallels with what was going on in the free world. So fashion ended up just being um, an expression during this time and it also was very important um, to claim where you were in society. Um, so in the early 1950s, there was something called the new look and the new look um, is it is most recognized recognizable by its curvy shape and line and was a womanly hourglass figure with a tiny waist and full hips in the consumer economics of the west women were encouraged to aspire to high fashion which goes to show again that um they were very competitive and they really wanted to make their stance that here in the states um they were fashionable and they had the first um, trends and the best fabric fabrics and the best designers. Skirts were also full and waists were pinched in an emphasis of an hourglass figure and silk stockings and high heels completed the image. A little bit later in the 1950s, James Dean was actually a big influence. Um, movie stars were popularized in young looks, jeans, t-shirts, and jackets. So usually, well, what I've read from my research, um, it said that during these times, during the Cold War, movies, celebrities, books um, were very important in to fashion. Um, a lot of designers really took that inspiration into their designs and into their lines and collections. Um, and during this time, young people began to take the lead in fashion. In the earlier 1960s, there's something called the space look, which is by the French designer André Gorhees. Sorry, I butchered that. Um, designers were often emphasized the energy and te technology advancements of the Cold War era and their work. The synthetic fabrics of the 1960s allowed space age fashion designers to design garments with bold shapes and plastic textures. And like I said, the French designer was particularly influential in the development of the space age fashion. The space look he introduced in the spring of 1964 included trouser suits, goggles, box-shaped dresses with high skirts and go-go boots. Go-go boots were eventually became a staple in go-go girl era in the 1960s. And in, towards the mid-1960s, um, um, in 1966, there was something called the Nehru jacket, which was worn by both sexes. Um, suits were very diverse in color, um, but were the first by were the first time ever fitted and very slim. Waistlines for women were left unmarked and hemless were getting shorter and shorter. And in the late 1960s, our favorite favorite time was the hippie and bohemian era. Middle class use of both sexes favored a unisex look with long hair, tie dye, flower power motifs, hemp uh, waistcoats, Baja jackets, bell bottoms, shape skin vests, western shirts, and ponchos, which were inspired by Western sandals, digger hats, and patches featuring flowers or peace symbols. And like I said before, that music had a very big influence in this era. Um, so for example, Jimi Hendrix was popularized. He popularized um, the wearing of old military dress uniforms as a statement that war was obsolete. 
and in the 1970s um, was a unisex era. So a little bit of the 19 of the late 1960s trickled down into the 1970s with being unisex. Um, so by the 1970s, Grendrix was predicting um, a time when fashion would no longer exist when it could go out of fashion. Um, the general silhouette was long, lean, with lots of hair. A look for both sexes that gave the era an androgynous appeal. And both sexes wore high-waisted pants and shag haircuts. High-waisted pants were worn by both sexes. And the early 1970s, bell bottoms gave a way less exaggerated flare legged pants than to straight legs by the end of the decade. And later on throughout the year, um, civil rights, women's liberation, and gay, li gay liberation had a big influence in the 1970s and in fashion. Um, the space age mod fashion had been gradually replaced by Victorian, Edwardian, and Bell influenced style with men wearing double-breasted suits of crushed velvet or strip patterns, brocaded waistcoats, and shirts with frilled collars. And people felt free of social dictates, no longer ruled by the elite fashion houses, and shirts and dresses were loose, soft, and easy to sew. Worn with sandals, clogs, or boots, granny dresses, which is an example on the right picture, um, loosely based on Victorian and Edward styles, became so popularized that they often showed up at weddings. And just an overview, um, overall I would say that during these times, fashion wars, fashion, it, during these times, fashion is what kept the people going. Um, they enjoyed it during the 1950s, which was at the beginning of the Cold War. Fashion was in a way co a competitive sport because they just wanted to show the Russians that they were way better in every single way possible. Um, and Americans had to make their mark to show the whole world that fashion is everything here in the States. Going into the 1960s though, I would say fashion was fun. People and designers did the most to showcase their style, the new fabrics. Um, in the 1970s, it isn't all that different from the 1960s, well, a little bit towards the end. Uh, women became a lot more comfortable and due to the political issues women were going through during this time, they tried to show everyone that they were just as powerful as men, but through fashion. Thank you so much.